Hey guys and welcome back to Denise Beauty Corner. Today I'm going to talk you through how I am doing my full cover foundation look and my skin is super dry and when I say dry I mean super super dry. So I have a hard time just using like a full cover foundation straight onto my face without getting it to be cakey and very uncomfortable and drying like crazy throughout the day but I do have some tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys how I am doing to really get this full cover look and not having the problem with uncomfortable foundation. A little disclaimer before we start there is a few steps that you might seem to be unnecessary in my routine but this is my personal routine and this is some tricks that I have found works very good for my dry skin. You can you skip a few of them out, you can take just a few pieces that you like out of this routine that you might find useful in your foundation routine. But this is how I'm doing when I'm doing a full cover look, when I'm doing like now a full smoky eye and like nighttime look and when I want to have more full cover. So this is not something I do on a daily basis or anything like that. Usually I go for a more medium to light cover. But sometimes we all want to have some full cover, don't we? And I wanted to do a full cover look without using any oils because that is one typical thing that most people do when they have dry skin. They use a lot of oil. But what I find is that oil doesn't go well with all the foundations. If the foundation, for example, is water-based, it will not be good to add oil because it's not going to blend well. And I'm also not going to do any baking, which is usually if you watch on YouTube videos, as soon as they are doing full cover foundation routine they are using a lot of baking so I will not use any oils and no baking process so I hope you guys will like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up before you leave and if you haven't already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel also and be part of my YouTube family here so you will see me in my coming videos but for now let's jump right into the tutorial of how I am doing my full cover foundation routine for very dry skin. So first I washed my hands so they are completely clean and uh, what I'm gonna do first is to prime my face. I am going to mix the Too Faced Hangover. I find that this one is really really good for moisture so I'm gonna take one pump of that one on my fingers and I'm also gonna take this is the Becca Backlight. I don't have the full size I just have the travel size I'm just gonna take a little bit of that one as well. Becca is giving me some glow and the Too Faced is giving me a lot of moisture. And before I started to film I was cleaning my face and then I added my day cream moisturizer. Now I'm gonna take another primer and this is not necessary but it's because I have a lot of pores going on here and a little bit in my forehead. I like to use the Milk Blur Stick and just going on top of the areas where I find that I have some pores going on. And I will just smooth that out with my fingers. And don't put too much of this product because then it can be a little bit cakey and we don't want to have any cakiness going on. And this is also totally optional but I like to spray a little bit of Fix Plus before I go in with the foundation. And that is also to keep the moisture I have to really struggle with the moisturizing because when I say that my skin is dry, it's dry as in a Sahara desert. It's not only dry, it's like so dry so I easily got cake face when I'm trying to do a full cover foundation look. So my Inglot foundation is one foundation that I really love and I like to wear it on a daily basis. But this is not 100% full cover. I do have this Marc Jacob Remarkable Foundation. And this is super full cover but it is a cakey foundation if I don't work with it. So I have to work with this a lot but when I do work with it a lot it's super super nice cover. It's super nice results. So what I'm gonna do is... Did I shake it? I have to shake it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix one drop, I'm gonna take a little bit more, like a, one big drop, and I'm gonna take one pump of my regular 
foundation. So this I'm going to use as the base. So I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to go in and just put it on my face. So this is going to be the first layer and as I said I have to work a lot to get full cover without getting cakiness. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see what I'm actually doing. As you see I don't take so much product up in my forehead and that is because I get super super dry in my forehead so if I put too much product I'm going to have too much cakiness when I'm doing this. I have like wrinkles there, what do you call it? You can take any big foundation brush that you have and I'm going to start damping this in and I'm not swiping so much I'm more damping it in because I want it to get into my skin and be one with my skin so I'm not swiping it too much a little bit because otherwise I will not get the foundation everywhere but so this is how I like to do it and I drag it down on my neck and then I take in the extra product that is left and just lightly slide it over my forehead. So I'm damping it in. Then I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and just damp and press all over where I put. And I'm taking my time here to really press in the product. And what I'm also doing is I'm pressing in some moisture from the beauty blender. So really take your time to press in everywhere where you put the foundation. So this is my first layer. What I'm gonna do now is that I am gonna go in with one more layer because I have a little more product. And I'm just gonna put this a little bit here and there. I'm not putting anything in my forehead now. And I'm gonna go in with a brush again. So this is also the mixture and the beauty blender once again. So this feels like many steps, but believe me that when you really work with your foundation and concealer, that is when you get result that looks really good. So don't stress it when you are doing your foundation because the foundation is the foundation to your makeup. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs, the same one, and I'm gonna take just small dots where I need more cover and I have veins going on like here I don't know if you can see it now when I put foundation but I have some blueness going on here and I really don't like that so I'm gonna take some dots here so now I'm going in with my full cover foundation and adding more cover to my skin and I'm also going to put a little bit here because I need more cover here and I am going to work that in so put wherever you have the problem areas where you find that you need more cover you do this step and I'm going in with a brush again and I'm doing the same thing damping it in and pressing the product in now you really do not want to do any swiping because then you're going to move the foundation you have underneath so you just want to pat it in and as you see I'm not barely going anything in my forehead and this is depending on you if you have a forehead that is not so dry maybe you can have more product there but I have really huge problem with cakiness in my forehead that is not I'm not using so much product there but I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender again and just press, press, press everywhere where I put the foundation. So once again, this feels like many steps I do completely understand, but for me it's worth it because I don't do full, full, full cover so much. I usually go for medium to light cover. This is when I want to have like a very full cover, full glam. And I would say I'm covering up most of my problem areas. So this is the foundation routine and now I'm going to put on some concealer and then I'm going to come back to you and show you how I'm setting my face. 
Okay, so now I put my concealer on and I did set my concealer. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing with the rest of my face. So I'm not setting my whole face with powder since I'm so dry. What I do like to do is to set the areas where I get the pores in my like T-zone. So I'm taking the IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores. I love this powder and this pressed powder and I'm taking it on a very dense angled brush like this, putting some product on that brush and pressing it in where I have my pores. And this powder is phenomenal, it's just blurring out my pores here, love it. And just a tiny tiny little bit in my forehead, just like here, not in my whole forehead, just in the middle of my brows. When I'm doing full cover like this, I don't want to have any tackiness going on when I'm putting on my contouring and everything. And what I do feel like is when I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder in Dim Light, I feel like it takes away the tackiness without giving like the powder finish, if I can say like that. It doesn't give me the cakey finish, doesn't take away the moisture. I feel like a powder can do that to your foundation and we have been working so much to get moisture in there. So I'm taking Dim Light on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna in circular motions go over my whole face with that and it's giving me a glow and if you don't want to buy this very expensive product I do have a dupe video for the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Palette and I do have a dupe that is very affordable so I will link that in the description bar down below if you do want to check that out and after I am finishing off with my Urban Decay All Nighter. The All Nighter, I, I feel like the All Nighter is giving me the lasting time, so it's making my foundation to last longer. So I'm just spraying it. Making it sure that it's dry. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus. And I feel like the MAC Fix Plus is giving me so much moisture and keeping the moisture in. So what I'd like to do is, um, this is totally optional. If you don't want to use two setting sprays, I do understand that. But for me, it's helping me a lot with the moisture because once again, I'm a dry girl. And the absolutely last step in this progress is to just take a sponge like this and just lightly dab it so I don't have any powderness going on. And just like that, you have a foundation that is not cakey, that will last you a very long time and that will keep your skin hydrating throughout the day. So now I'm just gonna finishing off the rest of my makeup because this looks a little bit crazy, don't you think? So let's finishing off the rest of this makeup.